You'd be hard-pressed to find a place more passionate than Paris. Passion for food and drink, passion for art, sport, passion for being French. It is the quintessential defining emotion when it comes to this city. And if you want to experience that emotion in a cocktail bar, Le Syndicate is a great place to start. Perfect representation of modern Parisian culture with a cocktail menu curated by French chefs, using French ingredients, blurring French hip-hop, this place screams French passion. Paris is one of the world's great cocktail destinations, and as a first stop for me, I don't think I could have found a more appropriate introduction to the city. Paris is first and foremost a culinary destination, and that is appropriately represented at Copper Pay. This is a bar through and through, but its menu highlights culinary cocktails like Bao Ganoush, Pan Con Tomate, or Tiramisu. Extremely laid back vibes and tasty bar snacks make for a local spot that's worth a visit. Sometimes all you need for a great bar is a good soundtrack and a disco ball. Divine has that and more. Masterful cocktails, a lively atmosphere with friendly staff, and a food menu that's worth the visit alone, the name Divine is perfectly appropriate. Harry's New York Bar, an iconic piece of cocktail history that's been around for over 110 years. The birthplace of many classics like the Sidecar, French 75, and also the worst cocktail of all time, the Bloody Mary, but I, I won't hold that against them. If you're a dumb cocktail nerd like me, this place is a must visit. If you're looking for a masterclass in rum and rum cocktails, 1802 is where you want to be. Featuring over a thousand rums from around the world, their cocktails are just as impressive as the rum selection. Each cocktail highlights a single ingredient used in a variety of unique and innovative ways, like a coffee cocktail with three different bean varieties, or a banana cocktail using banana three different ways, 
very creative, very delicious. Sherry Butt is an old stalwart of the Parisian cocktail scene, and the perfect place to wind down after a long night out. As with any bar on this list, it has an exceptional cocktail selection, but what sets it apart is the whiskey list. Grab a flight, post up on a couch, and enjoy a nightcap or two or six. Danico is a bar about exploration. Your first mission is finding the entrance, which I hate to admit took me more than a few minutes. Once you find your way inside, you're greeted with a beautiful room and a menu that explores the country of Indonesia. The cocktails highlight the culinary and cultural delights of a place I've never been, but if Indonesia is as delicious as this menu makes it out to be, it's a place I need to visit. Head through a taco shop to find Candelaria, the least secret secret bar of all time. A legendary Parisian Mexican joint specializing in all things tequila, mezcal, and tacos. Sometimes you walk into a bar and can instantly feel like you're in an iconic place that will stand the test of time. This is one of those places. There's a reason it's been a regular on the 50 best lists for over a decade.
From the same group behind Candelaria is La Mary Celeste, a distinctly more Parisian venture. The cocktails are great, but not really the focus here. When I see a massive wine fridge and giant buckets of oysters behind the bar, I immediately think about day drinking, and this to me seems like the perfect cozy neighborhood spot for a day drink. Right around the corner is Cambridge Public House, a stellar cocktail bar playing dress up as an English pub. Or maybe it's an English pub pretending to be a cocktail bar? Either way, both aspects of the Cambridge are exceptional. Amazing cocktail program, amazing pub. Make sure you order a meat pie. British food is highly underrated and they do a damn good job at the Cambridge. There is no bar more appropriately named than House Garden. Step inside and you'll feel like you've been invited into someone's home adorned with greenery in every nook and cranny. A super casual, friendly vibe made all the more great by a puppy just casually chilling in a bar. Delicious cocktails, new best friend, what more could you want? If there is one spot synonymous with Parisian cocktail bars, that would be Little Red Door. The quintessential stop on a Parisian bar tour. It's just my luck that they happen to be closed for renovations during my visit. Fortunately, they were doing a pop-up across town, so obviously I had to visit. Is it the same as visiting the actual bar? No, not quite. The venue is every bit as important as the menu. But it's still a chance to experience what has been voted the best cocktail menu in the world, sustainable bar of the year, and so many more other rewards and it does not disappoint in the slightest. The cocktails, highlighting France's exceptional produce, along with the tasting menu that focuses on seasonality, are some of the best drinks I have ever tasted. Flavors aren't usually something that I remember. I usually remember the experience, but the taste of some of these cocktails still gives me goosebumps. It's easy to see why Little Red Door is a mainstay on the world's best lists, even when they aren't truly at home. I can't wait to visit their actual bar one day.
Right next door to Little Red Door's pop-up venue is Dirty Dick, Paris's preeminent tiki bar. Dirty Dick has all the iconic mainstays of a perfect tiki experience. Strong, delicious drinks, fun atmosphere, and incredible bar staff that are both knowledgeable and friendly. What else can I say? It is a perfect tiki bar, something that is becoming harder and harder to find. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make any jokes about the name. You can do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Mixing comes in various forms at Frequence, one of the coolest bars I've been to in a long while. Swapping out bottles on the back bar for vinyl records, the bar team plays double duty as both bartender and DJ. Hand carving ice at one moment and mixing records the next. Vinyl bars are becoming more and more prominent in recent days and you won't hear any complaints from me. I love it. And I love it even more when the cocktail program is immaculate, which is definitely the case at Frequence. That's all that's it. The number of quality cocktail bars in this city is absolutely astounding. I was in Paris for five days and I don't think I completed even half my list. The level of craftsmanship and pursuit of perfection when it comes to not just cocktails, but food, wine, art, fashion, it's unmatched anywhere in the world, except for maybe Japan. If you like what you see in this video, make sure you subscribe for more cocktail content and I will see you in